hello everyone let's solve this problem very quickly we have 2x to the power of 3 plus 2x equals 20 okay um, by looking at each of these you realize that something is common to all of them and that is 2 right so we can just divide everything by 2 so that we'll have a lower equation so that from here we'll have x to the power of 3 plus here we'll have x and this will be equal to 10 right now what do we do bring everything to the left hand side so we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 equal to 0 and the way it is we cannot factorize this because we are not having even terms 1 2 3 right so we can't factorize it what we are going to do is to try to break this 10 into 2 so we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus open bracket 10 is 8 plus 2 and this is equal to 0 from here, let's open the bracket. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 8 minus 2 equals 0. Because the negative will open the bracket and this 8 becomes negative 8 and 2 becomes negative, right? Now, let us try to regroup this so that we will have um, x to the power of 3 minus 8 to the okay minus 8 and then I have plus x minus 2 equals 0 yes now the reason I brought x to the power of 3 and 8 together is for me to express 8 in index form right so that I will have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 now plus x minus 2 equals 0 right and then when when you have two terms like this to the power of three there's this thing that you can do remember if you have um a to the power of three minus b to the power of um, three this is the same thing as a minus b into bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so close this bracket now i'm going to apply this same principle for x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 so from there now i'm going to have x minus 2 in this bracket and then in this bracket i will have okay i'm going to have x squared plus a b a b will now be 2 times x that will be 2 x then plus i will have b squared which will be 2 squared right so we have 2 squared close this bracket plus i will now have x minus 2 everything equals 0 and then from here i'll take a step further so i have x minus 2 into x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus x minus 2 equals 0 and now I have x minus 2 and x minus 2 I'm going to factor out the x minus 2 so x minus 2 is out as a common factor and then in this you know I'm going to have just x squared plus 2x plus 4 right let me have this in bracket okay and then from here i'm going to have plus the whole of this is already out so one will be left over there then i can close this bracket and everything will be equal to zero now what do i do i have to let go of this inner bracket so i have x minus two okay into here i will have x squared plus two x and then 4 plus 1 that will give us plus 5 
and the whole of this is equal to zero. If we continue from here, we are going to apply zero product rule. And that says it is either x minus two is equal to zero or the whole of this is equal to zero. Now, if I pick x minus two, then I'll have x minus two to be equal to zero. And this means x is equal to zero plus two, meaning that x is equal to two. This is one of the solutions to the equation. Now, let's go ahead to get the other solutions. We are going to pick um, x squared plus 2x plus 5 to be equal to 0. x squared plus 2x plus 5 to be equal to 0. And remember, this is a quadratic equation. And we are going to solve this using um, the formula method. Okay, so from this equation, our a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is 5. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is a constant, which is equal to 5. Now, what is the formula? Our x will be equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac, and the whole of this is over 2a. Now substitute into the formula so that x will be equal to minus 2, positive or negative. Then I have um, 2 squared, that is for b squared, minus 4 times 1 times 5. And the whole of this is over 2 times 1 because a remains 1 x will be minus 2 positive or negative square root of 4 minus 20 okay 4 minus 20 because 4 times 5 is 20 and this is going to be over 2 now our x will be minus 2 positive or negative 4 minus 20 is minus 16 and this is all over 2. Now, take a step further. We are looking for the square root of negative number here. Now, I want to split it. So, we have plus, uh, minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Because square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 is the same thing as square root of negative 16. And this is over 2. And then x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. And then square root of minus 1 is i. The whole of this is over 2, right? Okay. Now this means that x is equal to minus 2 um, plus 2. Okay, minus 2 plus 4i. This is over 2. Or on the other side, we have minus 2 plus 4i. And this is still over 2. Oh, this is plus. Therefore, this must be negative, right? Because we are using positive and negative. This is positive. This is negative. Now, let's factor out 2 because 2 is common to all of them. So, x will be equal to if I factor out 2, in here I'll have minus 1 plus 2i. Okay, and the whole of this is divided by 2. Or on this side, I'll factor out 2 again. And in here I'll have minus 1 minus 2i. And this will be divided by 2. Okay, so what do I do from here? 2 can cancel 2, and it will cancel from there. So this means that we have x to be equal to minus 1 plus 2i, or minus 1 minus 2i. Okay, so this is what we have. And now let's bring out the three solutions to this problem. The first is x is equal to 2. That's our x1 now, right? Then our x2 will be equal to this, which is minus 1 plus 2i. 
and then our x3 will be equal to minus 1 minus 2i so these are the three solutions to the problem although it is only one that is a real solution thank you for watching